his head up, or her head up. Really curious, he keeps getting closer and closer, but <laughs> every time I pick the camera up to try and get a shot of it, he <laughs> ducks straight down. Oh, there he is again, he's getting closer and closer. Go on. Photo lens. And a hooded crow. 
the uh, oyster catchers and uh, the sandpipers made the first appearance of the year yesterday. It's very early. 6th to 7th of February is it? Very very early I think. Plants and animals seem to think that spring has sprung. It's, it's nice having the, the sandpipers and the oyster catchers back because they just provide the best soundtrack. Such a lovely noise. And the sandpipers, you know, they'll, they'll sing all night running around on the beach. And you get a clear night under a full moon and the you know all the birds fall in, it's just magical. <laughs> that seal does not know what to think of me. I think it's only a pup. We're not used to us yet. Change plan. The uh, wind spun round 180 since I set off. So I'm trying to roll against. Not only an incoming tide, but an ever strengthening headwind. Useless trying to paddle against it in this little light boat. So, change of plan. I'm just going to put in wherever I can. Walk the rest of the way. I think I'm about a mile away from where I want to get to. Um, it's not over easy ground. I put quite a bit of kick because I thought I'd have the boat. But I figure something out. I doubt you can see that, but that is, I think, a golden eagle. It's, it's either a golden or a sea eagle. Battery's about to go in this camera. I really need to splash out on a better lens. Nice spot though. Lovely holiday home opportunity. <laughs> Some renovation needed. Stop for a quick rest. Nice little sheltered bay. Making progress, but it's hard, hard going. Just getting into some some trees now. I think it's just over the next headland. Um, and get to the trees and start looking for a campsite. The uh, it was a golden eagle before. I know that because Sod's Law. The second I stopped filming. Uh, swooped straight over my head, flared up, and uh, yeah, it was plainly a golden eagle. There's no white tails either, um, so it wasn't a sea eagle. Brilliant view. Camera in my pocket. Oh, it's there again. Oh no, 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 no. That hooded crow. Oh. 
hopefully not too far to go now. I'm not sure what time it is, but I'm gonna have to start making camp because I need to collect firewood, all sorts. <laughs> and I've actually got a labu and uh, a hammock. Bought two sleep systems because I thought it was gonna be in the boat. Um, kind of going to make my mind up when I got there but I might just put them both up if I get time options nice oh well won't get anywhere sitting here Ugh. crack on <laughs> another one here these little ruins are just dotted about everywhere crazy to think you know people would have lived in these I mean that's probably only 12 by 16 feet yeah really cool wonderful middle of nowhere mouse or anything fence <laughs> Uh, it's a deer fence. What's quite amusing about it is that deer don't mind swimming at all. Um, you regularly see them jumping straight in, so it doesn't actually stop anything. They hit this, they've got to go 50 yards down to the shore, around the bottom of it. <laughs> I mean, at low tide, you could probably walk around it anyway. So. Oh, well, getting into some trees to get my kit over this bloody fence and carry on. Hopefully not too far now.
you folks. Wow, what a night. Found a great, great little camp spot. Nice to be back under some trees. Um, lots of dead standing wood about, so loads of firewood. It's all very hard, very seasoned oak. Um, so it's a good test for the saws, but yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't easy. As soon as, I, uh, as soon as I got my camp set up, got inside, got the stove lit, winds picked up, the rain came in. It was, uh, it was forecast at 62 miles an hour. I don't know if that's what it hit, but the lava just shrugged it off. Really did, absolutely no problem whatsoever. I had it hanging this time, rather than with the pole inside. And yeah, absolutely no problem, no slip, nothing. It um, really did the job, kept me warm, kept me dry. Um, I had planned on cooking a, I bought a venison fillet steak to get a caveman cook it on some, on some embers last night, but after the debacle with the, the rowboat and having to walk in with all the kit, I was knackered. I uh, ate a little bit, had a couple of brews and a hot chocolate and uh, went to sleep. Didn't sleep all that much just because um, of the wind and the rain. Not in a bad way, it was great being tucked up nice and warm in this thing it was a really really good night um, unfortunately I was going to cook the fillet steak for my breakfast instead got everything ready last night nice little pile of uh, kindling a tinder put it on top of the stove as I let it go out just so it'd be cracker dry this morning um, went to it this morning and uh, it was soaking wet. I'd, at some point in the night or when I got up this morning, I'd knocked it and it had gone into a nice fresh puddle um, that had formed next to the stove from all the rain. So it was all soaking. Um, I've got emergency matches and emergency tinder, but they're just that, they're for emergencies. I don't want to break into them and forget to replace them. Um, so yeah, I've cheated a little bit. Um, I tried to get the fire going with, with what I had. Um, but without hours of work, it wasn't going to happen. And then the handle came off my ferro rod, which is only a second time out, which I'm not that impressed with, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I chucked that up to a bad one, packed up a little bit of kit and walked out. And then I've come back on the little motorboat and just parked it down at the shore, um, just because the ground's sodden today. Carrying that much, it's, uh, it's not that safe, especially on your own. And as I came over that deer fence yesterday, um, there's, there's basically styles that have been built, big eight foot high styles, and as I was coming down, uh, three of the things snapped in succession, and that could have been a bad one. So uh, the next style, I think you've got to walk another sort of five, 600 foot up the hill. Didn't fancy that. Um, so yeah, I've got the boat down there. I left most of my gear, left the lavoo set up. I'm just gonna drop it quickly now and take the stuff down. And the deer need feeding today again, so I'm probably going to maybe go put my tarp up somewhere, get a fire lit and cook my venison. We'll see. Well, last night was just a taster. The, uh, the storm really hit as soon as I came back on the boat. Yeah, hit hard. Uh, the waves got up, winds got up, rains got up. It's wild. Um, but I really want my steak. <laughs> I'm starving. So I've got my uh, size one lavu half. I'm going to uh, try and find a sheltered spot, maybe around by the ruins and uh, try and get a fire going and try and caveman cook my uh, venison because I've been looking forward to it well since yesterday and I think I deserve it so I'm going to try that
Well deserved. nicest steak I have ever tasted. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what a couple of days. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. Lots more of this. Thanks for watching.